What's good, y'all? I'm gonna need y'all to start. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on one second. Y'all be stressing me out. Hit that like button. Before we do these videos, make sure you hit that like button. Smash that like button, the thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Then you hit that notification bell. Bing. So you know when these videos are dropping, I am dropping on a daily basis. I am coming, I am working, I am putting in work. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like these videos. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's get these joints rolling. Make sure you engage. I'm going to be talking to you. I'm in the comments. I am in the comment sections. Let me know what types of comment sections. Check no jumper. Check, you know what I'm saying, academics. You could check um hot new hip-hop all that like i'm on all them comments so i'm in the comment section with you guys so like share subscribe comment on these videos and we're gonna keep up. what's good y'all this is your boy joe cliff and we on the outside looking in i hope everybody's been healthy happy focused prosperous and blessed doing what they have to do to achieve succeed believe grow and just do what they have to do to take care of their responsibilities get their goals done, be goal oriented, and chop down each goal, one goal at a time, no matter how long it takes. Let's get straight to it. We are here to talk about trolls, trolling. What's going on in hip hop right now? You know, Kendrick's album just dropped, big shots out to Kendrick. Kendrick has a fire, fire album. Um, Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers, you know, it's kind of like a concept album. He's teetering the lines with his morals, what he wants to be, who he was, and how, like, his past affected him. Some of the decisions he made and how he looked back on them decisions reflected and made him the bigger person. Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers. And that's, like, fire. That's so fire. And, like, that concept is so crazy because we see a lot going on today. We see a lot, lot going on as far as relationships, as far as hip-hop, battle rap, whatever it is. You could listen to this album and you could find something. Like, we cry together. Black relationships, you know, hurt people, hurt people. The toxicity in relationships. Toxic love, how, you know what I'm saying? How you feed off of that toxic energy and how, actually, toxic energy is attractive to some people because that's all they know negative lifestyle stuff like that you know what i'm saying um n95 um rich rich interlude silent hill aunt diaries you know what i'm saying talking about um how he felt a little um homophobic at first how he used homophobic slurs and things like that and how um close family members changed his perspective how he grew up and things like that you know what i'm saying so he took all these and he put it into one album and it's so fire and we see people today with no morals no code no nothing like that trolls we seen the biggest troll, 6 9 you know what I'm saying? He took down a whole organization of brothers that was, like, trying to um, better themselves. Not saying that they was innocent. Not saying they didn't commit any of them crimes, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, or anything like that. But, you know, they seen an opportunity to try to change their lives and put their families in better positions. And they both actually, you know, they both actually manipulated each other and put each other in a situation. And 6 9 trolled his way into that situation. He told on everybody, you know what I'm saying? He took down the whole organization and now he's back out here like nothing happened. And then you see people now, like, you see people actually taking that blueprint and running with it because there's really no, um, how can I say this? There's no consequences when it comes to certain actions as far as trolls. And that's what people think though. That's what people think. And some people do have that misunderstood. And Freddie Gibbs is seeing that firsthand. He is seeing that firsthand. First off, big shout out to Joe Budden. Joe Budden talked about um, this Freddie Gibbs trolling situation and how he does this internet thing and he goes back and forth with people and he makes it hard to actually like him as far as like, you know, internet antics and just topics that he talks about and he covers. So it's like hard to like actually, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like fuck with Freddie Gibbs when it comes to an industry and you're seeing that a lot 
It started with um, him and um, Jim Jones. Him and Jim Jones had a situation, an altercation about the VL, the vampire life thing. Um, allegedly, Freddie Gibbs is a vice lord, so he felt like Jim Jones was using the VL in a disrespectful look, in a disrespectful manner, or whatever that is. I don't know no gang politics or nothing like that. But that's what was going on. And then the situation in Prime 112 happened where Jim Jones actually caught Freddie Gibbs and things got out of hand. He put him and a couple others put hands on Freddie and made um, the situation a little sticky and made the situation a little hard to handle. You know what I'm saying? And then um, you have Freddie and Benny who he's good been going back and forth with. And I honestly don't even know how that started, but it was another trolling situation. Freddie gets on the internet and he talks about certain things that shouldn't be talked about. Like Benny got shot and they tried to rob him in Houston. He didn't get robbed, but he did get shot. And, um, you know, Gibbs went on the internet. He was like, guys go to other um, cities and states and they're not as gangsta as they think or something like that, or they get shot. And then they started exchanging words back and forth through interviews, you know, the internet, things like that. And things started to get like a little, you know, things started to get a little hostile. And Joe, um, Joe Bunnan spoke on this. He told like when he was speaking on just the Freddie Gibbs and the Jim Jones situation, he was saying that Freddie should um, actually learn his lesson from that and take heed that like, you know, there's repercussions for this trolling and things that you say on the internet to certain people. And he learned that firsthand this weekend at um, a Buffalo, it was a Buffalo show. I think it was a festival. I think it was called Barbecue Fest or something like that. But some Griselda members there, some Griselda members were there, some um, BSF Black Soprano family members was there. And if you know Griselda, I'm a huge Griselda fan. I'm a huge Benny fan, Conway, Westside, Armani, all them, Rick Hyde, everybody in Griselda, BSF, you know, drum work, all of them, you know, all, everybody under that um, Griselda umbrella, I like, fuck with heavy. So if you know that, then you know that, like, Griselda is the face of Buffalo. So if you used to do a show in Buffalo, you should expect to at least run into a few Griselda members, at least, you know what I'm saying? And Freddie, I guess he wasn't ready, or I guess he doesn't understand that like some people doesn't play these internet games. Like some of these people actually really come from the streets and they don't have the same perspective as Benny. Like Benny's a rapper, so Benny's going to keep it rap. He's going to say what he has to say on wax and interviews and things like that. I don't think Benny and Gibbs would have ever had an altercation where they would have put, put hands on each other. Whereas Jim Jones, he's very old school. He doesn't care. Jim Jones did that, you know what I'm saying? But you do have people in your groups, people in your cliques that do not understand the rules of hip hop or just the rules of entertainment in general. And you know, they're going to do what they have to do when they feel disrespected or they feel the breadwinner is being disrespected. So that's what they did. It was um, 10 plus Griselda BSF members. And they said that they put hands and feet on um, Freddie Gibbs. And I've seen pictures, I've seen text messages. Um, I watched the um, Academics live stream and stuff like that. So it's um, kind of sad, it's kind of crazy that people's not understanding how much trolling can impact what they have going on. And it can actually um, taint them because now like as far as being a gangster rapper, how gangster really? How gangster are you when you continuously get beat on? Like people, like that's something that Freddie has to understand now too. Like you're supposed to uphold this image, and you try to be a bully on the internet, and then these people, like you know what I'm saying? These people don't play them internet games. There's people that doesn't play internet games, and there's people that understand that. Yo, once he crossed that line, that was that. And I don't understand why people don't get that from like the 6 9 situation. Like certain people going back and forth. Like even 42 Doug. 42 Doug just had the situation with 6 9 where he went back and forth with 6 9 Told him let's meet up, this, this, this and that. 
next thing you know, we're finding out that 42 Doug was on the run from the feds and he was supposed to, you know, turn himself in to do a little bid. He never turned himself in and he got picked up on a runway hopping off a private jet. So you have situations and things like that where like, yo, you're trolling and you're going back and forth with these certain people and you're putting yourself in these situations where you can't win. Like seriously, you can't win. Whether you get hands and feet put on you, whether you go to jail, whether you lose sponsorships, endorsements, things like that, people cut ties with you. Like the trolling thing, I don't know, man, it's catching, it's taking its peak and as far as um, hip hop, it's running its course because not only that, you have these huge indictments that's coming down on hip hop and these people are really indicting themselves. They're talking on phones, they're talking in songs, they're like, well, the song part, I don't really agree with wholeheartedly because music in general, especially hip hop, is a form of expression. So you be you should be able to express yourself and be able to talk about what you're going through, what you've been through, things that you see, whether it's good, bad, ugly, the indifferent, whatever it is. You should be able to do that in hip hop and um, be able to hold that responsibility as you know, being someone that um, has a story and is going to tell a story. So I don't really agree with the feds and other like state cases taking people's lyrics and using them against them. But the social media thing, that's crazy. You go on social media, you be from people. Next thing you know, somebody in their clicks dead, somebody in your clicks dead, and then everybody's arrested. You see that with the Young Thug and the YFN Lucci case. Like, you know what I'm saying? These guys go back and forth. Young Thug and other people taking pictures of standing on his cars. People from each side passed away. God rest. You know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. God bless that situation. I hope everybody thoughts and prayers for both sides. But, you know, people on both sides, you know what I'm saying? They're antagonizing the situation. They're playing these internet games. And next thing you know, both organizations, both record labels, they're going down now and they're considered gangs. You know what I'm saying? Where as these guys was just trying to take what they had, they took what they had and they was trying to make a way, but they got caught up in these internet games trolling. And honestly, a lot of people can make a case that like the trolling stuff really enhanced and started with the rise of um, drill music, if you want to be technical, because like when it comes to drill music, you have the most you should have the most disrespectful lyrics you're going at your ops you're name dropping some people you know what i'm saying you're just poking at the situation and you're telling your story for what happened and then from there you got these people going back and forth on the internet you know what i'm saying telling their story oh so this person got hit ha ha laughing when this one dies we smoking on this one this that that and the third and then people attach to that energy and now you got like these people like actually living and breathing on the internet and thinking that these games is like stuff that they can actually do and get away with man it's so crazy so crazy so crazy sorry i was parched one thing i learned well not even learned I listen to the um, Joe Budden podcast a lot, like I said, and he always says, like, you should be accountable for what you say, and sometimes the stuff that you say on these platforms, social media, and things like that, you're going to run into these people, you're going to see these people, or that stuff's going to come back to you. And he's another one that goes through that on a daily basis, but the only difference between him and other people, he always stands on what he says. And it's not just no games or it's not trolling or anything like that. If he's trying to make a point, he stands on that point. But a lot of people don't have that type of integrity and a lot of people are just doing it for clout. They're doing it to push their career. They're doing it to actually, you know, try to I don't know, try to benefit off of another person's career, take clout from another person, and sometimes it backfires and it fails, bro. Like, that's one thing these people are not understanding, and they're not seeing. They think, like, the, the success of it all, you know, it comes, but then you see other people, too, man. Like, you got these trolls 
these people, these Instagram people that came and went, like these Wolf Vickies, the um, Boom Gangs, people like that, you know what I'm saying? These Instagram people that was doing the most obnoxious and crazy things on Instagram to get like, you know, the followers, the likes and stuff like that. And it just didn't account for dollars, you know what I'm saying? It didn't account for dollars. They became, they got into more trouble and things like that than they actually got money out of it. Like a lot of people, like even Boot Gang, John Gabbana, for example, more people remember him for that Adam 22 interview where he was totally wasted than they remember him for anything else. They remember that interview and him running through stores stealing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it just depends. Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to uh, market yourself as? And what do you actually want from the game? What do you want from this game? That's what you got to ask yourself. When you jump into anything as far as entertainment, you just got to ask yourself, what do you want from this game? What are you trying to, um, what are you trying to gain? You know what I'm saying? Some people want notoriety. Some people want fame. And others want money. And there's different ways to go about that. And these people, you know, you're seeing everybody taking different routes nowadays. The internet is a gift and a curse because it gives you access to so much stuff that you have the um, accessibility to actually make um, different incomes and generate certain amounts of money and learn how to do different things. Whereas back in the day, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you really had to do stuff manually and figure it out. You know, nowadays you can hop on the internet, you can hop on YouTube, you can hop on Google, whatever, and figure it out just like that. Back in the days, you actually had to manually figure it out and take them steps. So it's a gift and a curse because now you have people that has this access and they taking this access and they're using it for bad or they're using it to portray an image of something that they're really not even like. You know what I'm saying? It'd be so crazy. It'd be so, so, so crazy. That's why I just stick to being Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. But make sure you guys like these videos, man. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on these videos. I am not doing these videos for nothing. We are working, working, working. I'm about to start going live about two, three times a week, you know, drops every other day type stuff. And we're going to keep pushing out this content and making it worth your while. We are here. We are here to work and we are here to make things crack let me know what you guys think too like trolling like even as far as battle rap too to get jump right back to the point man like as far as battle rap you see people like sheet happens that's taking trolling and they're using it in a battle rap element and making memes and stuff like that and it works a little bit sometimes it doesn't and then it gets out of hand where you have him in a gwitty situation where you know he says something about Gwitty's kids and the next thing you know they're about to fight and like it's crazy you know what i'm saying so like let me know what you guys think about this whole situation about trolling the freddie gibbs situation all that make sure you comment 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 hit that thumbs up hit that thumbs up hit that thumbs up and comment smash that like button and comment bro make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so when i do these drops you know when we are coming this is your boy joe cliff and we on the outside looking in holla at me